السلام عليكم اصدقاء حسب ما وراء الاجلال في مواقع التواصل الاجتماعي يوتيوب فيسبوك وانستغرام لان اندرويد تشيد استضفت واحد القناة اللي يسميتها بي بي سي بي بي سي قناة اللي مشهورة في الاعلام كتتعبر اول قناة كتحصد بزاف ديال المشاهدة في الاعلام استضفت تشوف واحد الانترفيو ديالو ولا يمكن بودكاست بهذا الشكل في البودكاست كان في المنزل ديال اندرويد تشيد وكيف ما كتعرفوا نتوما بان اندرو تشيد هو واحد المسلم اللي حديث العصر لانه يلا سلم فالصحف الامريكيه ولا الصحف الاجنبيه ما بغاتش انه يحاول ينشر الاسلام فكتحاول انها تزيف دوك الافكار اللي كيقولهم هو بالنسبه للعرب وبالنسبه للمسلمين وكذلك بالنسبه للاجانب اللي مقبلين على انهم يعرفوا الثقافه الاسلاميه الجديده وفاش بي بي سي البريطانية غتحط هذا البودكاست اللي فيه 12 دقيقة كيف ما كيقولوا انه تصور في 38 دقيقة فكتحاول انا تحرف دوك المقول فهي كتزيف الافكار وكتزورها ولكن اندرو تشيد واحد المبادرة اللي دار ذكية هو انه قام بوضع الكاميرات حط الكاميرات في المنزل ديالو اللي كانوا كيصوروا داك الشيء كيف ما كيدوز خالي من المونتاج كيف ما بداو البث من الكواليس ديالو حتى الاخر فنخليكم تفرجوا في الفيديو باش تكتشفوا كيفاش كان هذا الحوار وكيفاش تزور And also because there's a great deal of concern about the things you say and the impact that they have on young people or women. I don't think the concerns about the things I say, I think the concern is for the level of influence I have and the reach I have. I would argue that a lot of the things that are already out there inside of the legacy media and the matrix as a whole are far more damaging than the things I say. Concern about the influence you have being a harmful influence, but let's start with the allegations. Not necessarily a harmful influence. The fact that I have I'm massively influential over the youth, and I understand that. But it's my influence as a whole which people are afraid of, not necessarily the things I say. Let's start with the allegations. Have you trafficked anybody? Absolutely not. Have you trafficked anybody? Absolutely not. Exploited any women? For Absolutely money? not. But you have admitted using emotional manipulation to get women to work in the webcam industry for you. No. Firstly, let's, let's begin. At the, let's start at the beginning. I'm facing charges. The one, the first one you mentioned, the was already thrown out by a judge because there's no evidence of it. Secondly, it's very difficult for me to sit here and have a very frank and honest conversation with you while we're in the territory of Romania about illegal cases going on within Romania. I have to protect myself. I've agreed to do an interview with you, and I want to be as honest with you as possible. But I can't incriminate myself in any way, and I have to be very careful with what I talk about. There are no charges yet. Correct. There a are no charges. Said that there are no charges, and I've, and I've agreed to speak to you. But I have to be as honest and frank as I can, while also protecting myself and following my legal counsel. So let's talk about what you've said yourself. Then you have said on the website for your original website for the Hustlers University that you emotionally manipulated women to fall in love with you, so that you could get them working in the for your financial gain. As I said, I have to be very careful with what I say, but let's put it this way. No women are coming out against me and accusing me of doing it. Yes, they are. No, they're not. Yes, they are. No, they're not. Who? There's testimony from the current investigation. The current investigation, which I cannot discuss, which I know intimately and you don't, I can tell you right now that the, late, the women who are in this case file, there are two American women who have been caught already admitting they're lying, and then nobody else is accusing me of anything. To begin with, it's very common in cases like this that the alleged victims do not always see themselves as victims. Well, that's very interesting. It's actually extremely interesting because if I was a matrix-controlled organization and my goal was to slander somebody and try and destroy their name, you're telling me that they've chosen a crime which, one, is heinous, of course, because it damages the person's credibility, and two, 